Crazy Christmas Crew. Uh, this is going to be the last video of the setup process for now. Now in the future, if I do add any other different controllers that are communicating to my network in a different way, I'll be adding another video to supplement this one. But this is going to be talking about the E131 communication, which in essence is DMX communication over IP address. The Pixie 16 controller that I've got actually communicates using this E131 process. So we're going to have to add that communication uh, transport in the setup tab of X lights. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the E131 box that I have is an Alpha Pixie 16 by Holiday Cool Row. You can go to their website and they have information about the box and they also have uh, videos on that I actually found very helpful to get the box set up properly and get the IP address uh, so I can actually put it into the X lights, this X light setup uh, configuration here. So when we go to play our, uh, our show and communicate with our lights, we're actually communicating properly. <clears throat> if you've seen a couple of our other videos, earlier videos, you'll see that we've already set up our Lighterama channels uh, for our five Lighterama box, a total of 88 channels. We also have an open DMX to control a couple moving heads that we have uh, DMX controlled moving heads. And now what we're going to be doing is adding our E131 controller. All right, so uh, let's pretend this line isn't here. To add this, we'll be clicking on the clicking on the Add E131, and what you'll get is a box that looks like this. I'll wait for it to populate because my computer's acting a little slow. All right. Now, it gives us the option to be a multicast or unicast, and we want to select unicast. It's going to ask you to enter the IP address. Now, you'll be able to get this information from the controller itself after it's properly set up and has an IP address. It's going to tell you what the IP address is. And you want to make sure... Now, that, all right, with my box, and not to get too detailed with the box itself, but there is a lot of videos out there that says static IP is the way to go, and I will leave them. However, in my scenario, I have this controller hooked up to my local area network using dynamic IP, all right, and it's given me this IP address 192.168.1.235. Now, they say to use static IP because you know that the static IP address will never change, and by using dynamic, there's always the possibility that the IP just changes. Now, uh, I've been playing with this for a number of weeks, and my IP address, no matter if I've lost power or had to reset anything, has always stayed the same. It's always came back and gave me the same IP address. So I haven't had any issues. My communication to the box is nice and clean, and I haven't had any issues. So I'm going to continue using the dy dynamic IP address until I find otherwise. But you're going to put that IP address that the box gives you, obviously, in the IP column. Make sure it's correct. Now we're going to be having a starting universe of one. This is a 16 channel, uh, 16 channel Pixie controller, right? Each, each universe. Uh, I've forgotten honestly off the top of my head how many, how many channels one particular universe can control. I should know that, but I don't know it on the top of my head. But in this case, I have 16 different universes controlling the out of this pixie box 16 different channels basically or I say channels because that's incorrect um, each one of my my pixel strips that I'm using is a 50 channel or 15 pixel strip so each pixel uses three channels so each strip controls 150 channels okay and I have 16 strips or 16 universes all right Again, you have to go into the setting of the controller, and I will make a separate video on how to set up this Pixie controller that I have to make sure everything is set properly for that, that, that to actually work, basically. All right, and that's another step, hurdle that we have to get over. But this video is strictly the setup process for X lights. Okay, so we have the unicast, we have the IP address, we have a starting universe of one, we have a total 16 universes 
and it's a 50 strand uh, pixel strip so it's going to be 150 channels all right we're going to label this the optional description of color mega tree and then from there on we just leave everything the same and press OK and then here we go we have added our our um, controller all right so again we have our LiDARAMA network channels 1 through 88 We've got our open DMX, another 100 channels, 89 through 188. And then we've got our E131 Pixie 16, which is 16 universes. Each universe has 150 channels. And I can't do that math, but it starts at 189 and ends at 2588. All right. This right here is very important. And it might be to your benefit to go ahead and jot these channels down. All right. And what I mean by that, channel 1 through 88 is actually going to be channel 1 through 16 is box 1 17 through 32 is box 2 33 through 48 is box uh, 3 and so on and so forth all right have that little cheat sheet for the next step which will be the the layout okay but once we got here now I'm sure there's other things we can add here obviously you have a bunch of different um, options to add different communication ports to different controllers and things like that and I don't have the experience to go into any further detail on those, but this is going to be uh, for these three communication ports, okay, for my particular system here in my world, All right? So the next video we'll go over into the layout and, uh, and get into a little bit more detail on the, the importance of making sure that your layout is, is proper because you're going to need that to be able to control your lights.